Women test men for three reasons. When you know those reasons, you'll realize that these tests make sense for the ladies. They have a practical use. So when a woman tests you, it's for one of these three reasons. One to make you invest. Let's face it, everything we do in the dating game boils down to one thing. Sex. It's the goal of any man with any woman he flirts with. That also makes it the lady's number one weapon. She's not about to give away the grand prize willy-nilly, right? She'd lose control over your relationship. You're prone to leave her soon after, and, worst of all, it tarnishes her reputation, making her look cheap and easy. And that's why she tests you. She makes you invest your time, money, and energy to pursue her, date her, and win her heart. The tests are meant to make you work for it. Two to test how manly you are. Let me spoil the ending for you. The manliest men out there aren't phased by a woman's tests. He either knows how to pass them, or he has enough options, in other words, other women, that if he let this one go, he'll be fine. When a woman tests you and you pass, that it's, you don't get phased by it, you're in the clear. On the other hand, if you get emotional, angry, or defensive, you're in trouble. This type of rejection sensitivity, expecting and reacting intensely to rejection, can heighten the risk of aggression. So whatever it takes, keep your cool or you'll lose her forever. 3. To ensure you're man enough to not abandon her. She's wondering if he will leave her. Again, the dating game all boils down to sex. And what comes after sex? Babies, family, household, and married life. The question is, are you ready, willing, and able to handle the responsibility? To find out, she tests you. She wants to see you're the type of guy who can support the baby if you get her pregnant. If the answer is anything short of a certain yes, she'll either reject you or keep testing you. Now, granted, some women play the dating game for hookups, not relationships. Despite that, the same dynamic applies. She's not going to reward you with sex, her most powerful weapon in the game, freely. You'll have to show you're worthy of it. Here is how women test men. 1. The direct verbal challenge. Teasing you, saying something negative about you, or lightly putting you down all constitute direct verbal challenges. You will most likely receive this test shortly after you meet, often when you introduce yourself or in your first conversation with her. Examples might be comments like, is that the best you can do, you don't look my type at all, or do you always dress like that when going out? She might say you have a goofy laugh, or you don't prepare yourself well for a date with her. She's saying these things to see your reaction. She wants to know that you're keeping your calm, that you are not easily shifted from your frame, and remain clever in your responses. If you find these direct verbal challenges insulting, and look to defend yourself or criticize her in response, you have effectively failed the test. How to pass the direct verbal challenge test. There are three ways that you can handle direct verbal challenges. All three are equally effective, so choose the one that works best for you or rotate around them for variety in your responses. The first way to handle a direct verbal challenge is to agree with her comments and exaggerate your response to get a smile from her. For example, if she says, do you always talk like this to pretty girls, then you can respond playfully with, yes, you should see me with my grandma's friends. I have them rolling on the floor. Instead of defending yourself, you're exaggerating and making fun of the thing she is highlighting about you to downplay the interaction and get a smile from her. If she smiles genuinely or laughs at your reply, you've done well. Test passed. The second thing you can do is ignore what she says entirely like she never said anything at all. How you accomplish ignoring her comments is quite tricky because you want to show her that you heard what she said but that you are above being disturbed by it and her words don't deserve a response. For example, if during a conversation she says, you're so lame, then look at her quietly with a cheeky grin and continue the conversation as if she said nothing at all. It would be best to display strength and confidence in your body language and facial expressions when going through this test. If you look flustered or moved, then you've failed. Ignoring her comments with the right attitude shows your new date or girlfriend that you're not affected by her words, which is how you pass the test. The third way you can handle a direct verbal challenge from a woman is to interpret it as a huge compliment. So whatever she says, no matter how negative it sounds, interpret it as if she's complimenting you and thank her for being so lovely and considerate. Again, the object is to get her taken aback and surprised by your response so that she smiles or laughs, leaving you a winner. For example, if she says with a smile that you're irritating her, respond by saying how sweet it is to hear that. It's the best compliment you've heard all day. If you've done it well, she'll be disarmed by your unexpected response and break into an appreciative smile. You've passed the test. 2. The Assertiveness Test Women will test you at the beginning of a relationship because they want to find out if you have your own opinion and are not just agreeing with everything they say. She wants a man that can stand up for himself. A lot of men go wrong here. Many of them think that being agreeable and aligning themselves with her will make her more attracted to you. But, in fact, it is the exact opposite. 
Women don't want to just have someone go on their ride and agree with everything they say. They want someone that has their own perspective and sense of self. Obviously, women are not trying to test you purposefully. Sometimes they do it subconsciously out of curiosity. They want to see how you will react, how you will pursue them, and how honest you can be with them. Men test women too like this. It's actually very human to do this without even realizing it. Attraction is always guided by someone that has their own sense of individuality and their own clarity of opinion. So, let's say a topic comes up at dinner on your date, and she asks for your opinion on something or your advice. Don't just give her advice to pat her on the back and make things easy for her. If it's something you don't agree with, then explain why. Women love men that can be open to having more in-depth conversations. When you agree with everything or say something boringly pleasing, it kills attraction. When a man states his opinion and is decisive about it, it shows a woman that he knows who he is. It also shows a woman that she has something still to work towards because you're not just trying to impress and make the chase easy. You are who you are, and that in itself builds attraction. 3. The Flake Test You are flake tested when your new date or girlfriend agrees to go out with you, and then 30 minutes before she's supposed to meet you, she sends you a text saying she can't make it. Or worse, she doesn't turn up. How to Pass the Flake Test There are only three possible reasons why a girl cancels on you at the last minute. The first reason might be she's not interested in you but couldn't say no to you. The second reason is she's testing you to see your reaction. And the third reason is that she has a valid excuse, some emergency, etc. The good news is that no matter what her underlying reason is, your response is the same. You respond by not reacting or being negative or getting mad. If your new date or girlfriend flakes on you, no matter the excuse, then remain calm, accept what she is saying and let her re-engage you later if she wants to. You don't want to text her again or arrange another time. You want her to take the next step by contacting you again. And if she does, then you can set another time to meet up with her. Remaining calm, not chasing her, not trying to set up a new date, and waiting for her to make contact again, is how you pass this test. This behavior will have her more interested in you if she contacts you again. If she never makes contact, well, then you haven't wasted a further second on her, and you've demonstrated healthy levels of internal strength and self-respect. These strengths are desirable to the next girl you meet. Another version of the flake test is when she takes a long time to respond to your text messages or doesn't respond at all. You do nothing. Once I became privy to the secret everything fell into place for me. Of course, women mostly do not tell men what they are doing, partly because they may not fully understand it themselves, but also because they did not want the man to game the system. So it is best to just accept that women do and will test men. Be aware of it when it happens and deal with it in a way that gains you authority and understanding in the relationship. Personally, I see it as a supreme act of love. I become nervous when I am not being tested by my partner. She loves me and she wants to show it. She wants to feel safe with me. She wants to know if I love her. 